let's get on with our adventures. All right, we started talking about ancient miles, a journey, to, the journey to success. Okay, we have three characters in the book. The characters are Inch, he's a little inchworm, and Miles, he's a mouse, and Mr. Wooden, he's the teacher. Now, last week of classes, Mr. Wooden asked them, what is success? None of them were able to tell him, so he went to the board and he wrote this. Success is happiness in your heart because you try 100% to be your personal best. Your personal best. Not the person next to you, but yours. Okay? The, he then told Inchin Miles, here's what you're going to do. You're going to build a pyramid. We're going to call it the Pyramid of Success. And in the last chapter, they had found the first brick. Who remembers what the first block was? Hard work. Hard work. Everyone say hard work. Hard work. Excellent. <clears throat> Here's what hard work was all about. We work before we play. We work without complaining. And we complete big tasks a little bit at a time. Okay? Now, <clears throat> you don't have to work like that. But if you do, your chances of being successful are greater than if you don't. Okay. All right? So get your work done before you play. Take big tasks and chip them in a littler ones. It gets done real easy that way. Okay? And then don't complain. All right. Off these guys go now on their next adventure. They're walking through the woods and they start to hear something. Did you hear that? It's like the sound of a bird singing. Beautiful song. It was just sort of powerful coming on the wind just coming in at them, they could hear it all around them. So they stopped and they listened, and then little Rhonda Robin came over, and she had this to say to them as they're getting ready to find the next block. I sing my song with joyful heart. In your success, joy plays a part. Enthusiasm in your smile, combined with work, you'll find more quiet. The energy and pep you show will rub out on those you know. Don't make excuses, complain, or whine. Enjoy your work and success you'll find. Notice what she's saying there. She sings with joy in her heart and a smile on her face. Boy, that's hard for people to do today. To do anything and feel up inside and then smile on your face. But if you do that when you're working or doing whatever it is, homework, homework is work. If you do that, you'll be more successful. Okay. Also, she's got enthusiasm, she's got energy, she's got passion. How many of you love doing karate? See? That's good. I do too. I love it. And I think it comes across in everything that I do when I'm here. That's how you want to be with your work. You want to be the same way with that. And then trust me, that attitude is going to rub off on people around you. If your friend sitting next to you in class go on the desk, you're probably going to start feeling that way too. But if you're, all right, here we go. This is what we're going to do. We're going to get this. If you've got that energy and you've got that life going on for you, people will, will join you in that. Because eventually this is going to become team that we're talking about. And your families, your classrooms are the little teams that you people are all in right now. Your little work groups too at work, obviously. Uh, so they knew that the, the next pyramid block is going to be enthusiasm. Enthusiasm and for the adults. This is what Coach Wooden writes about enthusiasm. Enthusiasm brushes off upon those with whom you come in contact. You must truly enjoy what you're doing. People who go to work or go to college and they absolutely hate it, they can't stand it, it's difficult to be successful. It's very hard. But if you try to go in with passion, that passion is going to rub off on people around you before you know it, you can start changing the little worlds that you all live in. Worlds that I, I'll never reach, the teachers will never reach, but you and your friends and their friends and your teacher, you all can be teaching them this stuff by the behavior that you show. All right, so now we got two blocks of our pyramid done. But look at something. One of them is on one end, and one is on the other end. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the cornerstones of this pyramid first. All right, hard work, failure to prepare is preparing to fail, and now enthusiasm, which is like making every day special. Okay, have joy in every day that you have. And then Miles and Inch are going to find out in a little while why these are the cornerstones when we 
find out what those three blocks are in between. All right? But two blocks down, a few more to go. Our little adventurers are all set, and they're off now in search of block number three. Thank you very much. Give yourself a hand.